Okay, now we're going to go through some of the functions of the ControlCat software that's built into the ZCat. This is software that comes with every ZCat. Uh, it is fully functional uh, to do a lot of geometric measuring on the, the ZCat and make it completely portable. So I'm going to hit the ControlCat key and you'll notice we have a new screen on here that says ControlCat. At the top it's, it gives me a number one and it gives me millimeter. So that means I'm in session number one and I'm in metric obviously. Um, it also gives me a temperature in this case in Celsius it says 23.8 and off means temperature compensation is turned off. The little battery symbol here is tells me how much battery charge we have. Um, if it's full green it means we've got a full battery charge. Uh, the next symbol over which looks like a gyroscope and a probe, if I touch that it brings up a submenu which is pretty important in ControlCat. This allows us to edit the go-to speed and that would be the speed that the probe moves between dimensions. In this case it's set to a, its maximum which is 150 millimeters per second. I like that for demonstration purposes but you may want to be 100 millimeters per second. Uh, it has a measurement speed of 4 millimeters per second. This will slow down when it gets within a certain range of the to take a probe hit and then it will take measurements at 4 millimeters per second. The approach distance is that distance that it will start slowing down and that's set at 4 millimeters per second. These again are adjustable. Again, some people like to do it 5 millimeters, 4 millimeters, 3 millimeters. Uh, it also will be affected on the back off distance when you take a measurement. So um, you can play with those numbers but um, it usually between 4, 3 and 4 5 millimeter is what we're set at. Uh, the next box, it says probe set number one, and that's the one that comes with the ZCAT. Uh, again, this is part of the touch screen, so if I wanted to edit one of these, like the go to speed, I can touch it. It'll come up and say go to speed is a 150. Maybe I wanted to make it 145 and hit done, and now it's adjusted to 145. Uh, we also have, this is where we switch between inch and metric. It just toggles between inch and metric because those are only two choices. Auto number is on, which is the default and that's how it probably should see. That's going to mean that every time we take a new dimension, it's going to number it one through whatever. So every, if we have five diameters on my program, it's going to be diameter one, two, three, four, and five. I think it's important to have an auto number on. Um, in, if I could read this, uh, encoder values is, is off. We're not going to do any editing there. Um, some of these others we're not going to be messing with at all. Uh, diameter and radius diam um, This is if we have a uh, different diameter on our calibration sphere. We have X and Y um, offsets we can put in here. Temperature compensation is off. All of this is off. So once it's set up, we're pretty much done. I can hit that screen again and it'll come back again. We're in session number one. There are 12 sessions on the ZCAT. Um, any session can have multiple dimensions and multiple programs on it. Um, therefore, uh, as we get into this, you'll see what we're talking about. But I can switch between sessions by this folder allows me to open up a new session. I can just hit the open key now and hit this check mark and I can open session number two and done and if there is already measurements in there from the last time I was using this gauge it would still be there if I've saved it. So in this case I want to go back to session number one so I'll highlight the folder again and hit open and I'll go back to session number one. So this is a blank session and this is where we would start taking measurements.